Welcome back. So this lesson, what I want to do is start adding just a simple nav bar or something that we can use later because I want to start looking into navigation soon and routing. And let's just try and create a new uh, folder right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to just generate a new component. Now I want to, since this component is going to be shared uh, all over my code again, it belongs in the shared folder. So I'm going to generate something new in the shared folder. So I'll write shared and I want to just make a nav bar. So let's just name it nav nav bar right here, there we go, and I'll just create this component. Now again, I put it on the shared folder because I want this guy to be shared across all my components. If they want to have a nav bar in the top, uh, I might might not want to share it. Uh, there might be some components where I don't want to show it and some components where I, where I do want to show it. So that's why I'm creating a small component for this so I can, I can reuse that code later on if I want to. Now, let's just start out by just figuring out how we want our nav bar to look. And uh, I'm just going to jump into the W3 school, so I found a simple navbar CSS style uh, example. So I'm going to go and use that one. So here we go, there's a simple navbar right here. Now again, it's up to you how you want to build your navbar. I just decided to pick this one. There's a lot of great frameworks out there that can help you build some pretty powerful navbars. But now we're just going to keep it simple with a simple unordered list right here with, uh, in this case, four list items. Let's just start by getting that and putting that into our navbar HTML right here. Make a few changes to it. And then we're also going to grab the CSS. Now notice the styling that I'm going to take, I'm going to put that inside the navbar component CSS and that way it actually belongs there. So even though there's some LI and some UL information here, it's not going to affect the rest of the LI and UL information in my code because it belongs to the navbar component alone. Sweet. So let's try and do some changes here. I just want to put in customers here and I'm going to put in orders for later use and there's a more section here as well there we go and let's just put a few dots in here for now now what else do we need well let's just get rid of this information right here i just want to keep it as basic as possible for now so I'll just clean it up so basic that well it couldn't be more basic for for nav bar now i'm going to use the selector name right here to add my nav bar to my main component just like we did last lesson. So look how similar it is for me to just decide I want the nav bar before the welcome uh, H1. So let's just put the nav bar here. There we go, I'll save this. And let's just see if we got something. And let's just go back to our customer app. Oh, look at that, I have a nav bar. And again, I think what you should notice right here is how simple it is for me to make a focused component that only concerns itself about an actual nav bar. It doesn't know anything else about anything. I can just add this nav bar, and even if it didn't work, I could just remove it again, right? It's that simple to kind of work with these uh, components right here. Let's try and just jump back to our component right here because a nav bar is great and it's very easy to kind of add a nav bar in the code like this, but maybe I should start considering some actual functionality. And we are going to look into that in the next lesson where we're going to try and look into uh, navigation and routing inside an Angular app. So that's it for this lesson. See you next time. Have fun.